October 2018, a man armed with an assault rifle entered this Pittsburgh synagogue. He shouted anti-Semitic slurs and fired off his gun, killing 11 Jews. The rampage was among the deadliest against the Jewish community in the United States. This wicked act of mass murder is pure evil, hard to believe, and frankly, something that is unimaginable. Donald Trump reacting to the mass shooting. He went on to condemn anti-Semitism, but critics accused the American president of inciting attacks against Jews. He uses certain terminology that certain groups, radical right-wing white power supporting groups, are um, listening to and that speaks to them and that's called dog whistling. He never comes out and says, oh, I support these values that uh, support a white America or a Christian America. According to the Anti-Defamation League, anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S. have risen sharply during the Trump presidency, all of which could hit close to home for the Trump family. The president's daughter converted to Judaism and married an observant Jew. He basically has Jewish grandchildren, but at the same time, he has been known to say, oh, I don't want an African-American accountant. I want my accountant to be short and have a little hat referring to a yarmulke on them. He's not anti-Semitic, but he is thinking, it seems like, in stereotypes about the Jewish community. Candidate Trump raised eyebrows in 2015, courting Republican Jewish donors while calling them, quote, negotiators like me. Addressing the same group last year, the president referred to Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu as, quote, your prime minister, calling into question the loyalty of American Jews. No doubt the issue of Israel and its security is central to many American Jews, the majority of whom are registered Democrats. Trump's defenders point out he's moved the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, confronted Iran, and shepherded peace deals with Gulf Arab countries. President Trump stood yet again resolutely and courageously with the people of Israel. If you don't see the power and truth of these moves, you may want to check your pulse. But critics say Trump's actions on Israel are less about protecting Jews and more about pandering to evangelical Americans.